Hello, everybody, and welcome to the start of something. I don't think I want to call it a new series or anything. That implies a commitment that I'm not sure I'm ready to make. <laughs> but regardless, I'm Onitsen. And I'm Grant Thompson, just along for the ride. And today we are riffing off of something that Caleb Grace posted a couple days ago on the uh, Facebook group, where he came up with a new game mode where you try, where you play the quest with the day and night counter from the Wastes of Eriador, which is a brutal quest, and the day-night mechanic is one of the reasons. And the idea of bringing this into other quests just really kind of intrigued me. So, uh, that's what we're doing. We're going to start with a passage through Mirkwood and probably eventually make our way through all of the core set quests. And if we feel like it, we'll keep moving on. I don't know if we'll feel like it, but... We'll see how it goes. We'll commit to the core set quests. With a possible asterisk on Escape from Dol Guldur. <laughs> That'll pend in if I can convince you, Grant. Yeah. Let's see what that would <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh let's talk about a decks. What you running? I'm running a Grey Wanderer Hillwind deck. Which I've been playing around with for a little while. Um and this iteration is actually one that um David took um David Walsh from Card Talk took me my idea and just tweaked it a little bit, so I'm running with it and seeing if it needs a bit more tweaking, so we'll find out. Alright. I am running a Lorfindel Walks to Mordor deck. Um, you Viewers of this channel might remember the, uh, the campaign I posted with that deck. This is a, a deck optimized for, well, optimized is a strong word here. Built with regular play and not campaign play in mind, and I decided to do something completely crazy and give Glorfindel the one ring. Because, well, of that course. Was good, that was a good series you did back then, man. <laughs> um, we're proxying a card today. This is Dark Knowledge. Everybody knows Dark Knowledge. Uh, very few people use Dark Knowledge, probably justifiably. Um... Today it is proxying for the Master Attachment Well Preserved, which is a as yet unreleased card from the Under the Ash Mountains pack, which basically says, like all of the other Master Attachments, you attach to a hero, the attached hero gets something. In this case, for Well Preserved, it'll be plus one hit point, and then um, you have an action you exhaust the One Ring and um, Well Preserved and Raise Your Threat by One in order to heal all damage on the attached hero. Um, given that the entire idea of the Lorfindel Walks to Mordor deck is that I'm soaking all of the undefended attacks on Glorfindel, that kind of, uh, you know, helps out with that a lot. Um, I just looked it up, it's apparently not an action, it's a response at the beginning of the round, which makes it slightly less useful than I thought it would be, but still. This is, this is going to be fun, we have an interesting test deck, we'll see how it goes. So, I'll be adding that to my opening hand for the card I've chosen with the one ring, and because I had more than one card, we're going to drop all of the rest of these into the encounter deck, or into my deck, not the encounter deck. Shuffle it all up. Yes, there are 56 cards. Don't, don't, uh, you know, get frustrated in the game. chat. <laughs> okay, so all right, here's my opening hand, Grant. So let's talk about our opening hands. How do you like yours? I'll, I actually quite like mine. I've got resource acceleration straight away. I've got a bit of card draw, and I've got a few out allies that I can drop out onto the board. So I'm going to keep my opening hand. How about you? Okay. Um. Oh, this is rough. I have Light of Valinor, which is always good. 
I have a couple expensive cards that I'm not going to play for a while. I do have some card draw with Darren's Runes, and I have Master of the Forge, which probably means I'm going to keep the opening hand. So I'll add Well Preserved to my opening hand. Octagon's handled all of our setup. So. Oh, on Deer Brick, or are we going to start in Night tonight? <laughs> um, I believe that um, during, uh, that in Waste of Area, you start on Daybreak, so I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, it seems there's nothing but flavor text and flies and spiders left. Alright. Ooh, that's interesting. How do you feel about a deep knowledge? Oh, yeah, Alright. Alright. What do you got, Grant? Okay, well, f first of all, I've got to add the Grey Wanderer thing into play, so I should have already done that, and I'm a fool, so I'll just quickly do that now. I keep forgetting about adding the one-cost attachment. Oh, that, that would be a good thing to remember. Yep, so then I flip that over, I'll close and shuffle that, um, and then I'm going to add two resources, raising my threat by one. I'll then spend two to play out Steward of Gondor. Okay, um, I drew another deep knowledge if you want it. Uh, I think I'm okay for now. Okay. Um, and then I think I'm going to play one, two, three resources. Pull out an Anflus Herdsman and two Resourcefuls. Okay. That is um, a start. That's quite a good start, actually. Okay. Alright, if you really don't want me to play that other deep knowledge, I'll uh, hold on to it for a bit. Um, if you play and I've, I have enough in me hand at the minute. Right. I mean, I wouldn't say I don't have enough in my hand for this turn, but this deck thrives on cards in hand, and I still haven't found my Elven Light, so... Okay, try it. Let's do it. All right. Well, I'm getting closer, at least. Let's play Darren's Runes. Draw a quick beam and a test of will. That's not bad. I'll discard Lords of the Eldar. And Barivor. I got Reforged. That is also good. So, here's how this is going to go. We're going to play Light of Valinor. On to Glorfindel. We will discard Strength and Courage to Arwen to put a resource on her. And we will play Reforge to get um, Strength and Courage back? <laughs> Not yet. I'm going to save for a test of will. Ah, uh, fair enough. What I am going to do, I was going to play Master of the Forge, but no, I'm going to play Well Preserved on Glorfindel. Okay. And next turn we can start uh, doing interesting things. I'm questing for three. Okay, I'm questing right for up. six. So nine between us against three in staging. Card number one is a forest spider, and card number two is a second forest spider. So we're up against seven. Yeah, it looks like it. So we make two progress. This is fine. Oh, guess what? It is day. Enemies do not make engagement checks. True, but next round you have all three of them coming down to you. <laughs> this is true. So do you want to optionally engage one? Yeah, I'm going to save that old forest road because it'll do no, you no good. Yep, I'd agree with that. So I'll optional that forest spider. You want an optional one? <laughs> Uh, I don't have the hip I don't have the defense at the minute to um take that with all confidence. Fair <laughs> but what I can enough. do 
but what I can do is help you kill this one. I am attacking for one. Oh, you I are have... ranged. Yes, so you can have my one attack. <laughs> All right, well, I am now going to play Reforged to get Strength and Courage into play. There we go. And Glorfindel is now three willpower and four attack. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that. There are some really, really nasty shadow cards in this. I don't know if you knew do that. You, do you want to risk it? <laughs> yep. We're going to risk it. There we go. Three attack on Glorfindel. Okay, and then Hurlewin and Glorfindel can join together and just crush the spider. Yeah, we'll attack for five. That's enough to kill the thing. Good enough for me. Okay, and at the start of the round, I'll exhaust well preserved and the one ring to raise my threat by one and heal Glorfindel. Ooh. Ooh, that's intriguing. Alright, I'm going to use Barivor. Draw two cards. Alright. So I could do a number of things here. I could get out Quick Beam. Which is not bad. Oh, actually, let me come over and see what you drew. I drew a long lake fisherman. Ooh, that's an interesting card. I have drawn an Entraft, Gildor and Glorion, and my one copy of Will of the West. I will discard my Vigilant Guard to give Glorfindel a resource. And now I have a couple options here. I could play Master of the Forge, or I could play Quick Beam and Entraft and get Glorfindel up to 8 hit points. Oh no, sorry, I drew a second Etias Swordsman. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Also interesting. Yeah. What are you thinking, Grant? Well, for you, I'd definitely say probably drop Quick Beam in your end draft. That yeah. That way you more hit points to play with. Or drop Quick Beam and your Master of the Fort, and then next turn, get your end draft out. <sighs> Yeah, no, I am going to get out that Master of the Forge, because I need to start trying to find... Well, that's not what I was trying to find, but it's something. And my Elven Light was just sitting there, waiting. <laughs> I've, I'm trying to find, uh, what's it called? Uh, to the Sea, to the Sea. Yeah. All right, is that you done? That is me done, unfortunately. Uh, do you not want to pitch a card to our one? I already did. All right, okay. Well, I'm going to start off with Deeran's Runes, because the first card, non-unique card I play each round doesn't require a resource map. Oh, hey, Grant. Yeah? We are flipped tonight, last yes, round. So, we are doing it to reveal an encounter card. Yep. Mountains of Mirkwood. Alright. Sorry. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. And I'll discard that second copy of Four Long. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, and now let's see, what do I want to do? I think I will spend two for an Etias Swordsman. Okay. I will spend two for another Etias Swordsman. Okay. And I will raise my threat by one, adding two more resources to Erlewin. And play three for four long. Okay. And then I'll play a very good tail for five. So I shuffle my deck and then discard five. One, two, three. Four, five. Oh. And that's all four different spheres of Outlands on the board. And now four longs going to ready. <laughs> Each phase, yep. So, let's just... 
Okay. Oh, no, he's actually down. He's just got three willpower now, and he doesn't get the boost from Stride as willpower, so that's all right. Uh, one um, one of them. Okay, then. Well, I'm going to quest for six. Okay, then. Uh... There's currently seven in staging. <laughs> oh, at the start of quest phase, four long pops back up. Yep. So I'll send three, six, nine. I'll send nine. I don't think we need to send any more to you. <laughs> okay, where's the n oh nine from Hirloon who's not exhaust exhausting. So that's 15 yeah. against seven. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be just fine. Card number oh. one is an East by Patrol. Okay. Card number two is a King Spider. I hate you. Okay, I'll exhaust my knights of the swan. Okay, I'll exhaust quick beam. Okay, so we've added five. So 15 against 12, we make no progress. But that's fine. Travel to the old forest road. That old road. forest road, yes. Okay, readying up Barahor. Okay, and now each of these enemies are coming down. So the two forest spiders to you, the king spider to me, and the east by patrol to you. Only if you optional the king spider, otherwise it's all three to me. However, uh, if, if you wanted to optional the king spider, I would not be. I would not complain if you did. Yeah, I'll take the king spider and the what are you? And the patrol? Uh, well, that would come down to me normally. Right. Okay. My two forest spiders are at three attack. Alright. Now i got to figure out what I'm going to do here. Two undefended attacks. <laughs> Gryffindor still only has six hit points. That would not go well. Um, well, you've also got Barovor there as a sook. <laughs> true. Barovor will defend this first one. Take one point of damage. Um, okay, we're going to risk it. Undefended. Three damage on Gryffindor. Okay. Okay. I'm going to defend one with the Warrior of Lossanark. Okay. He lives. Takes one point of damage. And then I want to take the other one undefended. I have five hit points. Hopefully it's enough. <laughs> and it is. There it goes. Okay, then. Let's kill some things. Alright, you have enough to kill your East Bite Patrol. Yeah, I don't have enough to kill my King Spider, however. Okay, and my One Ring and is exhausted, unfortunately. So I can't kill my Forest Spider. So I'll deal three damage to the Forest Spider. We kill the East Bite Patrol, and all the enemies are going back to the staging area. That's yes, okay. Sir. We've got enough willpower there to deal with it. <laughs> sure, sure, yes. That is, in fact, what we have. Oh, I had four long ready, so I could have done uh, two more damage. I keep forgetting that he readies every phase. Oh, okay. That. So did you want to so kill... I had two more damage. I'll... So well, I... I don't think we'll... two more damage on... Yeah. Or one damage on the King Spider. <laughs> yeah, okay, that works. Um, 
Okay, right, so, so you're first player now. Yeah, what do I want to play? Well, first of all, I think I'm going to exhaust that, take a threat, heal up, and add two resources. Okay. Oh, by the way, I am not using my one ring. Okay, well, do you want me to play the Warden of Healing out? Uh, only if you really feel like it. I, I drew a Lembus, so I have healing in my deck. Okay, well, if that's the case, I will spend two for a long lake fisherman. Okay. And say two. So I'll right. look at the top five. I'll look at the top five with you for the benefit of our viewers. Oh, no, that's a choice. I think it's going to have to be the warrior. Yeah, I think you. I'm thinking you need your de defense up a little bit. Yeah, and then shuffle the rest. Uh, is it shuffle? Uh, yes, shuffle your deck. Yeah, and then I'll spend one, one, two, and play out the other warrior of Lothanar. Okay. So now I'm actually defending for three. I will pay two more for a Hunter of Lamadon. Okay, and reveal the top card. It is Gandalf, so he gets discarded. That's unfortunate. And he has me hoping for, I was hoping for a Knight to the Swan or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll draw two with Barrevoir, and there is Elven Light. I'm going to ditch it to Arwen to add a resource to Glorfindel. And I am now going to pay three for a Guardian of Rivendell. And I'm going to discard both of those Elven males for that Guardian of Rivendell. I will also pick up the Fall of Gilgalad with my uh, um, Master of the Forge. That's not a card you see every day, the Fall of Gilgalad. No, it isn't. Um, oh, I'm going to rearrange this slightly. I'm going to pay, actually, for... I'm going to pay for the Guardian of Rivendell with one of the resources from Arwen. Okay. And then I'm going to spend Glorfindel's last resource on Lembus. Okay. Nah, the end draft. I think the end draft. He's now up to eight hit points. Okay, so questing. <laughs> I'll send three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, I will send... Do I need again. to send more? <laughs> no, I'll again send six, so 18 between us against two, three, four, five, six, eight. 18 against eight? I should can send fine. more. <laughs> yeah, it should be fine. Okay. Card number one is Beastmaster. Card number two <laughs> is Ungoliant Spawn. Okay. So you sent four characters? One, two, three, four. Yep. So and I minus... sent two. So we're minus six. So 12 against... 13. Well, you could always use a test of will on Ungoliant's ability. Yeah. I'm not particularly fussed about one threat. Maybe I should be, because I'm only six away from threading out, but I have double back and uh, three copies of Elrond's Council in there. Yeah, and the next 33 cards of your deck, mate. <laughs> well, yes. Do you know how how much I, uh, how fast I uh, go through these? <laughs> okay, then. So, engagements? Yeah. Well, we can only optional one each. Yeah. I'm gonna pull... The Damage Forest Spider? Why not? And I think I'll take... Should I take the King Spider, or should I take the other Forest Spider? Or should I take Ungoliant? You no, can attack... Not... How much attack can you muster? Uh, with one defense, let's see, I've got... Well, Assuming you do something like chump with the fisherman. 
Yeah, let's see. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven attack. You got eleven? Yeah. Two, four. That's enough to kill her. And eleven. I've actually got twelve, so I could technically kill the Ungoliant. You want to chump the fisherman and kill her? Why not? YOLO. <laughs> True that. All right. Okay. Defend. Dead. Bye bye. Bye bye, fisherman. Guardian of Rivendell will block. Choose and discard an attachment from the defending character. If this attack is undefended, instead discard all attachments you control. He does not have a def attachment. And then Quickbeam will kill mine, and all your people will kill her. Yeah. Um, you should have seen the game me and Ted had last night. We played um, the Desert Crossing. I was running this deck. He was running a Dale Swarm. <laughs> Ugh. All right. We flip to Nightfall, reveal an additional encounter card. Because it's and it a... does nothing. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. Before I do anything else, I'm going to... Grab Master of the Forge. I have another Ent Draft. That's fine. Um, shuffle that up. Draw two cards with Barrel Ooh, and there's Asphaloth. Oh, um, apparently I haven't done Control N. There we go. And I just drew double back. That's good. But we can't make progress. Yeah, this round. And again, I'm leaving my uh, resources right where they are. I will. I'll ditch this other Master of the Forge to give Glorfindel a resource. Asphaloth, you think? Well, it couldn't hurt. Two turns and that mountains of Mirkwood will be gone. Sure, I'll drop out Asphaloth and Lembus. And now we're getting somewhere. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to, just for emergencies, drop out, follow Gilgalad onto Barovar. <laughs> okay, well, for me, I, uh, I'm going to spend two resources and play out the Warden of Healing. Okay. And that's me done. <laughs> okay. I've got three cards in my hand, and none of which are <laughs> viable at this point in time. <laughs> Alright, I'm questing for six. Okay, uh, I'll quest for three, what? six, nine, twelve, fourteen. Okay, so that's twenty against eight. And with no Ungolian spawn on the deck, we're going to be fine. Each player discards all event cards in his hand. That doesn't affect me. Um, I would lose my only copy of the Will of, Will of the West, and since I'd be losing Test of Will anyways, I might as well cancel it. Fair enough. Card number two is the Forest Gate. Alright, I will ask for off Mountains of Mirkwood. So we've added two threat, we make ten progress, we clear the old forest road. Yep. Uh, you want to save that forest gate? Do you need the card draw? I need the card draw. I've okay. only got three cards in hand. <laughs> okay. Actually, you know what? Let's travel there just to get the threat out of the staging area, and I'll give you a bear of our next turn. Okay. That works. Which will, in fact, make up for... Oh, and I have Elrond's Council now. Okay. So, engagements of... Three of these are coming down. Yes, and if you. we do nothing, they all come to me. <laughs> okay, I'll optional anyone you don't want. Uh, how about how about you take the Beastmaster just to avoid those nasty shadow? Like, I just don't want uh, Dogold or Orcs to come out and give me plus three attack. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then the other two come to me. Okay. Okay, um, goes like that, and he'll get a second one when he attacks. Okay. So I will take the 
Remember the forest spiders back up to three attack scenes that re-engaged. Correct. I have eight hit points. So I have five left right now. Nope. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to block with Glorfindel against that forest spider. Okay. No shadow, so I could have taken it undefended. But that's okay, because I'm going to discard the Lembus to ready him back up. And heal three. Yes. Which means that now I could survive an undefended attack from King Spider, even if Dolgold or Orcs came out. So, your turn. Okay, I'm defending with the Hunter of Lamadon. Okay, three against three. Exhaust a character you control. Okay. Sorry, Knights of the Swan. <laughs> and nothing. So, no damage. Okay, and then attacking back, I have two, four, six, eight. Okay, that's more than enough, and I have three from Quick Beam to kill the King Spider, and two from the Guardian, and four from Glorfindel to kill that Forest Spider. Okay, and then at the end of the round, I will use the Warden of Healing and strip off the one point of damage I have on my damaged Warrior of Lossenach and one point on your side of the field. Okay, I'll just strip it off a of Barivor. Whoops. Entirely up to you. You want to just strip it off Quick Beam or Glorfindel? Okay. Um, Glorfindel at the start of the round is going to exhaust the one ring to heal all of his damage and we flip that and I'm going to immediately ask Floth away those mountains of Mirkwood so we can both search the top five cards of our deck for a card and add it to hand okay I'll add a second Elrond's Council don't mind if I do Okay, do I want to add a Knight of the Swan or an Amphilus Herdsman to my hand? <laughs> I don't know. I think I forgot to raise my threat from the ring, so I'll do that. Um, I think I'll take the hit points, to be fair, because we're still squishy on hit points. That's fair. Um, completely fair. Am I alright getting the card draw? Yeah, go ahead and take it from Barabor. Thank you. Master of the Forge does not find me an attachment. Okay, so here's a question. Do you want more healing on the board? Or do you want... Um, or am I... Uh, you don't need healing. You're clean as it is. I will spend one for a um, Ancient Madam. Okay. I will then spend three resources, one, two, three, and drop out a, sec a third Warrior of Lossenark and a second Amplus Herdsman. Alright. Sounds good. And I discarded Elven Light, drew it back no, I drew Elven Light back to my hand and then discarded it again. Did not find anything with my uh, Master of the Forge. So I will... I'll do nothing, actually. I'll just uh, save up for something bigger, I guess, is what I'll do. Yeah. And I'll quest for seven, eight, with uh, the Elrond's Council dropping my threat by six. Shall we go to double back? Yeah, with me as well. <laughs> Okay, so questing, I'll send three, four, five, six, seven. I said. Okay. 16. I'm sending 16. 16 plus my eight is 24 against an empty staging area. Okay, card one, card two. Alright, so we make uh, 20 progress, clearing the forest gate. Which allows me to draw three cards. And double back, which drops me back down to 31, which was right about where I started. And um, which drops me down to 15. No which complaints. Puts me, which puts me in a secrecy. Not 158. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, shall we travel to the mountains of Merkwood, or do you just want to let it sit there and ask for off away? We can just ask for off it. Okay. But what I am going to do is spend one for a secrecy timely aid. <laughs> <laughs> so 
allows me to drop in this Hunter of Lamadon. Okay. Because <laughs> why not? Sure. Yeah, we'll leave Mountains of Merkwood there. And just so I can show off a little bit, I'm going to take Buff Tack. Are you sure you don't want me to take it? The outline's already. <laughs> yes, but so am I. Um, undefended? And, uh, oh yeah. Absolutely <laughs> undefended. And then I'll attack for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and he's in the victory display. And then he'll swing over for two just so he's got something to do. <laughs> sure. Oh, you have sent for aid now. I do indeed. And we are on, we are on nightfall, so... Alright, I'm gonna... There it is, that is exactly what I wanted. To the sea, to the sea. Pull a card up with elven light. Play out to the sea, to the sea. We'll put it on Arwen, because why not? Exhaust to the sea, to the sea. Discarding Quick Beam, a copy of Elven Light, and Gildor in Glorion to be able to buy Galdor of the Havens for one cost. Oh, not Gildor. We're going to drop uh, Strength and Courage. That's what we'll do. And then, you know, we'll ditch the Imladris Caregiver to give Arwen a resource. Okay. Is Actually, that your turn? Actually, before we do that, we'll do Exhaust Barabar to draw two cards, and then play Daron's Runes to draw two more cards, and then we'll ditch the Caregiver to Daron's Runes, I guess. And then you're going to play Deep Knowledge. <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> what would this game be without risky threat decisions? And now I'm going to discard Gildor to give Arwen that extra resource. So there we go. Okay, are you done? Eh, about. Okay, just just clarify. I'll spend oh, one. Actually, I am going to play Lembus again. Okay. Okay, I'll spend one for an ancient mother up there on the mountains of Mirkwood. Okay. And then going to play. A very good tail for five. Okay. Let's see if I've got any allies left to pull out. <laughs> Is that five there? Yeah, no, that's four. Five, yeah, no, nothing there that could have been pulled out. I mean, yeah. You should have one more herdsman and one more swordsman in there, right? Yeah, and I will spend two for two more knights of the swan. I'll spend one for a send for aid, even though it's going to do me probably no good. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to spend five, just because I can, for Gandalf. And... Uh, drop me threat. <laughs> sure. Or draw three cards. Uh... Oh, hey, I should have drawn a card for Galdor's response when I discarded to Eowyn, because Galdor was already in play at that point. Or not Eowyn, Arwen. So okay, just... I drew three cards. <clears throat> you drew what? I drew three cards oh. from Gandalf's response. Oh, okay. Which got us a Deeran's Ruins, a Gandalf, and a Long Lake Fisherman. Oh, that's not half bad. Okay, I'll just let you handle questing, so I'll just do six. Okay, four long readies at the beginning of the quest phase. <laughs> <laughs> right. We've only got four in the staging area. So, knowing this quest deck as well as I do... Has it been reshuffled? No, nope. it hasn't. I'm going to send three, six. I'm sending 12. We don't, because we're not making progress. We can't make progress thanks to Nightfall, so. Sure. 12 against 4. Card 1, Dolgulder Orcs. 
I'll take that on Glorfindel. Card I'll two. Do. I was just going to say we could. Oh no, it's got to be on quests and characters, doesn't it? Yep. Yes. Encounter like card effects cannot be cancelled. So we have caught in the web. Well, technically you have caught in the web. Well, I guess Barivor is stuck. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. Well, you've, got El you've got Elrond. <laughs> oh, I suppose I could do that. I hadn't even thought of that. I have a better idea. I'm going to optional those little holder orcs and let the spiders come down to me. Okay. I've got an entire army. <laughs> I'm doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if you really, really want one, you can have it. I just want to get a cool card off that I normally don't get to play. Go for it. Okay. I'm going to draw back Elven Light as well, by the way. Okay, I'm going to take those spiders undefended. That's three damage on Barivor. And I'll take the orcs undefended. Three more damage on Barivor. What is this? It's madness. She dies. And I'm going to reduce my threat by ten. And then at that point, I'm just going to totally murder all of these enemies. And I'll help with... Um... Feel when who's attacking for fall. Alright, at the end of the round we flip back to daybreak. And we're ready up and I no longer have Barivore. And I feel very sad about that. Well you've got houses of healing in your deck. It's spoiling the uh <laughs> <laughs> the response. I'll discard Elven Light to Arwen to put a resource on Glorfindel. I'll buy it back to draw another card, and now you are first player, so I'm not going to do it. Um, do you want to ask off that uh, Mountains of Mirkwood? I mean, I'm more than willing to if you want to drop Ancient Mathems on top of... If you're going to play that second Ancient Mathems, I could draw you six cards off of it. Uh, okay. Or if you just want to save that Ancient Mathems for, like, you know... I was thinking of saving that second Ancient Mathems for, like, the next round, because I'm going to see what I draw to see whether or not it's worth us playing Duran's Runes. Sure, okay. I'll uh, ask for off that away. And now we each look at the top five cards of our deck, add a card yep. to our hand. I'll add the Imladris Caregiver. I'll take it. Uh, and I think I'll add my copy of the Amphila Sergement, just because why not? Shuffle up, and then I draw three cards. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> Well, there's definitely no... I've got four cards left in my deck, so I'm going to play Deeran's Runes, draw two, discard in the timely aid, because I really don't see the point in needing it. <laughs> um, I will trigger Steward of Gondor, so I'm sitting at six resources. I will pay three to get out my third copy of the Ekia Swordsman and the um, Amphila Herdsman. Um, I will then spend one, just because I can. Oh, Gandalf goes away, by the way. So okay. Went away in the last round. To play out my last copy of Resourceful. <laughs> <laughs> just because... I can. So I stick to resources he's generating without the Grey Wanderer. <laughs> okay. Um, and let's see. Do I want to play Men of the West? Is it worth me playing Men of the West? Let's have a look. How many Outlands do I have in the discard? One, two, three three outlands in the discard, two which I can't use. Uh, so, uh, probably not? Probably not, no. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's me done. <laughs> okay. I am just going to go for kind of a simple one this round. I'm going to discard Elven Light to, to the Sea to the Sea, drawing a card off of Galdor's response. And I'm going to use that to reduce the cost of the Imladris Caregiver by one. 
and then I'll use Mas I'll wait to use Master of the Forge till afterwards. This means that next round I can for sure get um, Houses of Healing out. So. Alright, are we ready to uh, continue? Yeah, I suppose so. Shall we uh, blow through this quest? Well, I certainly can. <laughs> if you just want to hold everything back. I'll hold it all back except for Arwen. Okay, I'll send 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Do you think that's enough? No. Okay, well, if that's the case, I can send everything else. <laughs> Card number one is the Dolgoldor Orcs. I'll take the two on Glorfindel. Okay. Card number two is Hummerhorns. Oh, well, that's interesting, isn't it? You, you want me to nuke them with Gandalf, or do you want to engage? <laughs> uh, neither, actually. I'm going to let them sit in the staging area. So we're up against three. Yeah, so we're, we're up to 23 progress, and we advance the quest. Okay. Okay, engagements. I'll take the Dolgo to our orcs. Okay, I'll let you have your uh, moment in the sun. And well, while... actually, hang on, I've got seven. I could actually take the Hummer horns. You could. I think I will. <laughs> All right then. I'll take the orcs then. I'll take five damage on Halloween. And I will now use my Master of the Forge to grab Asphaloth and shuffle so attacks okay all on readies I will defend the Hummer Horns with the Warrior of Loss and Arc <laughs> plus one attack oh my <laughs> That does absolutely nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'll block mine with the Guardian of Rivendell. Are you sure you don't want to take it undefended with Glorfindel? <laughs> uh, I would much rather do that if I had a full uh, health pool. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> I think you can kill yours. Uh, let's work it out for it. <laughs> 12, 16, 23, 26, 29, 39, 42? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then I'll exhaust the Warden of Healing to heal up one point of damage on your, um, one damage on your side and one damage off the other one. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now we're ready up. In the refresh phase, we're going to flip to Nightfall, reveal an encounter card, and now it's the next turn. Yep, and I believe we've just cycled the encounter deck. Yes, we have. Okay, I will use to the sea to the sea. No, I won't. I'm going to spend a resource to bring back Elven Light. And now I will use to the sea to the sea and discard both copies of Elven Light, drawing a card off of Galdor's response. And then spend one resource to play out Elrond. And Elrond will just fully heal up Glorfindel. And, you know, that's all I'm doing for today. Okay, well, I'm going to spend... Oh, other than asphalting that old forest road. Two resources and playing out a second... I will play Men of the West for three and pull back the three Outlands allies that are in my discard back to hand because why not? One. Fair enough. Two. Three. Who knows? I might get some reason to discard. And then. I will pay one, two, and play the Hunter of Lamadon just for general purposes. 
it's not like I actually need them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but with four four hit points, four will, four attack, or four defense for two costs, who can complain? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, questing. Okay. <laughs> I'll quest for six. Now, is there any point in me questing? <laughs> I'll send for a... That should be enough. 24. <laughs> okay, so 30 between us against one in staging. Card one is a forest gate. Card two. Oh, no. Whatever shall we do? I sure hope I sent enough questing. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to travel to the forest gate and draw two cards, because so I long obviously ready? need it. And now, in the refresh phase, after it flips back today, um, I will exhaust two healers to reduce the cost of Houses of Healing by two, and play Houses of Healing for three cost and bring back Baravor. Woohoo! And now at the end of the round, Elrond goes away. Oh, also, I'm probably gonna... Nope, I don't have one left. Okay, I'm gonna exhaust my two healers and heal up two more points of damage off um, Hurluin. Do you have any damage on your side that needs healing from the Wardens? Um, I've got two more points I can heal up. No, Baravor would have... <laughs> come into play after you exhausted them, so... Okay. Good enough. Um... And I have decked. <laughs> okay. When it decides to... There we go. I have no more cards left in deck. <laughs> um, after Daron's Runes, I am also decked. <laughs> My last card was Lord of Morthond. <laughs> A bit late. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play Elrond's Council right now. Now I'm gonna spend one for Arwen from Arwen to play Will of the West to shuffle that deck back in. Don't forget to drop your threat by three. Already have. And now I'm going to do to the sea to the sea to discard Quick Beam, a Light of Valinor, an extra copy of Galdor. And for my fourth one, it will be Guardian of Rivendell. Now I'll spend one to get Gildor and Glorion into play. And okay. Master of the Forge will grab me a Vigilant Guard, which I will discard immediately, drawing a card from Galdor's response. To put a resource on Arwen. Okay. <clears throat> Questing. And Asphaloth. I'll, I'll keep Asphaloth off. I've got six. Ooh, hey, I'll draw two more cards with Barrevoir because I can. Right. Do you want me to play this Ancient Mavum so you can draw three cards next this round? Why or not? Next round? <laughs> okay, I will spend one. Because it's the only card I've played this round, and I will play Ancient Mavums on there. So next turn, you can just blow that away and draw three cards. Okay. <laughs> Questing. Uh, four, eight, twelve, sixteen. I'd quest for more, but we obviously don't need it. <laughs> Who says we don't need it? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Twelve. Uh, plus... What, twenty-four. Thirty-six. Forty. Oh. <laughs> How much do you have? Forty-four. Forty-four plus my six is fifty. <laughs> against one. Yep. I don't know if we're going to make this, Grant. It's going to be rough. Each player discards all event cards in hand. Arwen says no. Okay. And card number two. I lose my Master of the Forge. Uh, Barabor takes I... another damage. 
And I just take a little bit of damage across all my allies. It's not so bad. We've got enough hit points there to deal with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to exhaust me two Wardens of Healing and heal up Perluin and um, Warrior of Lossenark and two on your side. Why not? Go for it. Alright. So, uh, we're going to clear a fork in the road. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I mean, it was a close run thing, but yes. <laughs> now I'm going to shuffle up the quest deck. And let's see what we get. We get... <gasps> Don't leave the path? Ooh. Mongolian spawn, here she comes. Yep, yeah, we're each going to pull out a spider. So one will be Mongolian spawn and the other probably a forest spider. I have that or a king spider just to get that wind revealed effect out. Uh, I suppose. Okay. Um. Okay, well, that was fun. We'll, uh, travel to that old forest road. You can ready up here, Gon. You mean fall along. <laughs> and he's already here. Sure. Okay, and I guess we each take one of these? Yeah. Unless you want it to go the other way. It makes absolutely no difference, because I'm going to raise me threat by one and heal off the last two damage on Perluin, so... Okay. Um, I will defend. Um, uh, who's defending? Uh, Halo and will defend. Why not? Alright, just a second. I accidentally apparently dealt. I don't want two shadow two cards. <laughs> I don't want two shadow cards. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to defend with Halo and I'm going to spend one for a sneak attack. Gandalf, reducing my threat down to 17, and defending with Gandalf. Alright. Defending player must choose and discard an attachment he controls. Oh, whatever shall I do? I think I'll discard a Steward of Gondor. Okay. And I'll <laughs> uh, block with that. Glorfindel can kill him on his own, and I'm sure you have enough. Uh, let's just work it out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. There's 13, 17, 26. Yeah, that'll do. That'll are do. You, are you sure now? <laughs> Just 15 points of overkill? <laughs> I could have killed her on my side as well without even using the ring. Well... That was a fun variant. It certainly made those early turns a lot harder. And just for those people who are interested, we scored 114 on the game. <laughs> well, I kind of like this. I, we'll, we'll have to to keep giving it a shot. We'll, I'm, I'm interested to see how uh, Journey Along the Anduin goes with this, though. What do you think of the Outlands deck? <laughs> it is like all Outlands deck, completely overkill. Well, especially when it gets up and running. I mean, yeah. I had by turn three, I had well turn two, I think it was. I had all three, well, four different outlands out. So four long was just ready in every base. <laughs> yep. Goodness it gracious. Was, I mean, I could have saved some damage by not questing as much in that other round, but I just thought. Why not YOLO? <laughs> I've got the hit points there, uh, you know what I mean? And I knew nothing was going to die. Yep. <clears throat> what did you think of the new and updated uh, Glorfindel deck? It works quite nicely. Um, obviously, it's not built for campaign mode as the original was. So, obviously, 
playing it is slightly different to how you would play it normally. Obviously, a few bits of the combinations are still there. Obviously, it would be nice to have, like, sort of um, the warrior boons on Glorfindel, so he starts off with four hit, four attack points straight away. But that would be nice. <laughs> but no, it works quite well. <clears throat> um, let's see how we can deal with um, Journey Along the Underwood next time. All right. Well, until then, everybody, thanks for watching, and happy questing.